Gresham College is an institution I value immensely. That's why I applied for the chair there. It's an Elizabethan foundation, which as far as I can see, was designed by its founder to do exactly what it is doing now, which was to enhance public knowledge, public awareness of what was then deemed to be important and what is deemed to be important now. So it is one of the, one of the oldest such institutions, I should think, in the world, and certainly must rank very highly amongst the institutions of Elizabethan London. I was attracted to apply for the chair at Gresham College because I've always felt that I've had a number of privileges in my life, that I've been able to pursue my interests. Indeed, someone once defined an academic as someone whose hobby has got out of hand on public money. Well, I don't know whether that's entirely true of me, but I do feel I've had more time than many people to get up in the morning knowing I was going to be doing something most of the day I really wanted to do. And someone in that position should put something back. I've tried to do that in my writing, and I thought that these, these series of lectures would be an excellent way to do that, to put something back. I hope that doesn't sound priggish, but it does really mean something to me. One of the things that I value about the unbroken sequence of Gresham professors of music, for example, is that it goes right back to the Elizabethan period, in which I'm very interested with, with, with John Bull. Um, recent professors, I think, who have been um, admirable in the role and who are great scholars, I mean, Roger Parker, for example, being interested in the romantic guitar as I am, I mean, the, the great man in early 19th century London music at the moment is and has been for some time, Roger. And he's been very encouraging to me and has started to take the guitar on board in some of his own projects, which I think is, for me, very gratifying. So he's certainly a hero. The very first Gresham professor of music, John Bull, was really quite a, quite a distinguished composer, quite an able figure. Indeed, I suppose if you, if you look at the full run of Gresham professors, there, has, there have been at various times some less than remarkable men. It's only natural in such a long, long sequence, any in academic institution uh, has to admit to the same thing, I think, including, for example, this college with its run of masters going back to exactly the same period. Some have been great men, some have been not great men. But uh, John Bull certainly is a, is a very important figure. I mean, this is an estimable figure. He, it kicks off, as it were, the series of Gresham professors with a, a, a very able composer and a man whose biography up to a point is known. Uh, and it's a wonderful thing for me to be part of that sequence. I mean, I find that very uplifting, indeed.